Well, here we go again, and you're going to say, yeah, I've seen this thing. What is it? Central Electronics 100V, and I'm bloody tired of seeing it. Well, yeah, it's on its back, of course. I feel that way a bit working on it, but it's finally coming along the home stretch. So the power supply is in this thing, the 340 volt power supply that only puts out 302 volts, but hey, it's putting out something, and it's not blowing up, it's not shorting out, it's not blowing up its capacitors because it's over voltage, it's on its own plug, it doesn't need the evil variac, so the rig is now working under its own reconnaissance with no external power supplies, no wires to it, and plugged into 110 volts without any excuses, so... That's the story here. Anyway, let's go over what was done today. Um, first of all, I had problems with going to manual mode here. It wouldn't key in manual mode. So you can see now I get a scope and it keys up. Um, and it even, look at that, AM modulation. Hello, one, two, three, look at that thing go. So I couldn't even do that. And I could do PTT, so push the talk. You would go here to PTT mode. I guess we're in that mode now. Push the bar in the microphone. Transmitting, transmitting, not transmitting, transmitting. I haven't tested Vox. Let's see if that works. I think that's one click this way. Do we have Vox? Look at that. We got Vox. We got Vox. Vox is off. Vox is on. We got Vox. We got Vox, we got Vox, one, two, three. So this thing is finally working like a champ. Anyway, the, the problem with that was a 560 ohm resistor off the cathode of pin three of the 12AT7 that's a relay driver tube, that resistor was open and I didn't even take out the old carcass. I'm gonna flip the camera, hang on. Flip it, there it is, flip it, okay. So now we're on the same page and let me show you the 12AT7 in here. So the relay driver is next to the relay. You can see the relay in here. I'm trying to get this thing oriented. Anyway, that blue resistor you see there is the one I added and that goes from pin three to um, I don't know, a junction somewhere in there, but that's what it needed. That was open. There is a 560 way down in there. It's open, so I didn't even bother taking it out, digging it out. I just stuck a new one over it. And that cured the problem with the manual mode. So that's all working. It seems like the Vox is working. You can see I put a capacitor in there for the Vox. Little capacitor. I'm not sure you can see it. I can't see it looking through the phone, but... Suffice it to say, there is a little capacitor in there for the Vox. So that's the 12AT7 for the relay. The relay is off to the right of that tube. Yeah, or left. The relay is off to the left. So there's the tube on the right glowing, and on the left is the relay for that tube, and that's the TR relay. So that's how that works, peeps. And pin three. There's a 560 ohm resistor, which on my rig here opened up. I just put a new one in there and that cured the manual mode. So that was all done. Now, the power supply I added for the 340 volts is going through two chokes. It goes through that choke there, that black transformer choke thing first. That choke feeds into the one that was there for that power supply, that one right there. Um, there was a choke for the high voltage power supply, the 600 volts. That choke's been removed because I couldn't suffer a voltage drop with the hack power supply that I put in this thing. As you recall from many videos ago, I tried to make the 200V transformer and power supply work in a 100V. That was an abject failure because everything was way over voltage. Anyway, I also added a resistor. So if you see... This 4.7K resistor right there, you'll see a little blue one piggyback to it in parallel with a couple of nasty wires I forgot to cut off. Anyway, 
I'm trying to take that down from 4.7K to 4.1K. And the reason for that is that takes into consideration the voltage differential. When I go from 340 volts down to 302 volts, there's a small percentage difference. So I calculated that if I put a, a 33K resistor in, 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 par in parallel with the uh, 4.7K, I'll get down to 4.1K, which is what I need. I didn't quite have any 33Ks, so I think I put a, a 47K in parallel, which brings it down somewhat, I think around 42, 4.2K instead of 4.7K. So that's the, the, the theory is that that will give me the same B plus at the other end on the power supply of all the tubes that expect that B plus because those are all B plus dropping uh, resistors. And the same thing over here in this resistor farm, you'll see, I need a pointer. You'll see two resistors here that burned up, but I replaced them with 4.7. So these two are 4.7 Ks. And then I figured I'm gonna put a 47 K in parallel to get it at least down to 4.2 K or so to give me a little more B plus because I have less B plus going in. I have 302 volts where I want um, 340. So I think that'll equalize the B plus on the other end where they drop it down. And then this little CF right here, uh, that's the bias for the finals. And I kept cranking those resistors down until the finals worked right. Because the, well, why, why is that different? Maybe it was different because the 340 volts was 302 volts and I didn't compensate this yet. I don't know. But at any rate, this thing seems like it's working better now for many reasons. What else do they do? Um, that's about it. So we can give this thing a check. We can give this thing a check and see how it sounds on the air. I'm just going to transmit across the room on 80 meters on AM. So let's give that a try. I'm not sure how well we can make it work across the room, but it'll work. It just, I don't know, it's how good it will sound. Anyway. I have a really bad interference noise. <coughs> so that power line noise is bad. We'll try AM. And see. This is KB3W on AM. This is KB3W on AM. This thing is very, very bassy. And I guess it's the mic. It's very bassy, but that's what it's doing on AM. And the meter says to set AM in this little AM zone, so. Let's look at that. You can see it's got this, maybe you can't see it, but there, there's like a little AM zone that's pretty much right there. So if I take the AM gain down, whoops, AM gain down here, you'll see it'll lower the power. Damn phone, Apple, okay, see how it changes the characteristics? More audio coming out now, I can crank the audio down. This is KB3W testing on AM and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. And I can take that up a little bit, AM power up. It seems like it works good though where they prescribe it. If I take it up too high, it won't work at all. So take it up to there and increase the volume up the AM input on the audio, all the way up. AM here does not work, and it has downward modulation. It sounds like crap. And you can watch this little scope, and if the scope isn't really putting out a uh, triangle or a trapezoid, one, two, three, it's not right. So let's dial a scope in for a trapezoid and see how that works. 
Okay, dialing in scope for trapezoid. Trap, 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 trap. Okay, there's a trapezoid there. Well, that doesn't sound good. One, two, one, two, one, two. That idiom sounds decent, and the uh, meter is kind of drifting down here when I talk. One, two, three, four, five. What if I increase it so the meter doesn't move at all? Let's see, a little more power. Okay, meter, you're still going down. One, two, three, and maybe that's all she wrote.